Guys, this thing is driving so smooth and s Whoa. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be finally getting the 335 IS ready for smog. So we're gonna be going down to l &D Solutions to pick up the seat belt um, that we've been waiting for for so, so, so long. And once we actually get that seat belt, we can install into the car, put the remainder of the interior back together, um, hopefully clear the airbag light. As you guys know, we had to remount the airbag, uh, the sensor in the front, we had to replace the battery terminal in the rear, we replaced the curtain airbag, we replaced the steering wheel airbag, and now we're actually replacing the seat belt. Because so there's a lot of things that we had to get replaced Hopefully once you actually clear the light all those end up checking out a-ok -okay. and once all those check out um, We should actually have no lights on the dash and we should be able to go smog this thing So I'm pretty excited for that pretty stoked So that's gonna be the goal of today obviously is to get that seatbelt install it get it smogged and uh, you know Just celebrate because obviously if we get this thing smogged That is a huge 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 accomplishment because this car has not been on the road for over two years Which is absolutely insane and this car definitely deserves to be driven. So without further ado Let's go ahead and get that seatbelt <laughs> Solutions, guys, let's go ahead inside and get that seatbelt. All right, guys, these people are amazing. That is his M3. It's an E92 M3. It looks like an LCI as well, manual. Such a nice spec. I think those are like competition style wheels or actual competition wheels. Beautiful car. Again, just got our LD Solutions. We got our brand new seatbelt rebuilt. So I'm super stoked about that. So at this point, let's go ahead and head home, get this thing installed so we can get everything dialed in, clear the codes, and get this thing smogged. I'm so hyped to finally get this thing smogged so we can get some proper tags on it and actually drive it on public roads. We haven't even got to drive the car. So I don't even know is the DCT transmission any good because those have a lot of issues and if your transmission is not good that could set you back another three grand so that's my biggest fear getting the car to drive and then finding out if there's anything wrong with the engine or transmission so we're taking it one step at a time and we're getting so close guys believe it or not this is gonna get us super close literally just to install this get it smogged we'll find out without further ado catch y'all when we get back and we officially made it home guys with the seat belt it's time to install this guy i don't think we're gonna have time for smog and registration today unfortunately um i do think because of the basically the time constraint everything closes at five so we don't have enough miles on the car for it to pass smog and we don't have enough time to get it to registration so long story short we're gonna have to do that stuff tomorrow but today uh we can get this done and it's all gonna be in the same video for you guys but for me um it's unfortunate for me i wish i, I wish i can get this all done today but uh, it is what it is let's get the seat belt in because i'm super excited for that. Guys, at this point, we do have the door panel in there. We have the seat belt in there working properly. Uh, so we just need to throw in the rear seats. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark back here. We just need to throw in the rear seats and then also the door trim and they were pretty much done with the interior. So three, two, one. And just like that, guys, the interior is finally put back together. The whole roof is put back together. The A pillars put back together. The trim, the door panel, the seat belt, everything. All the airbags are good to go. The only thing we're missing is actually that third brake light. It's not a big deal. It's actually super easy to install. I just need to get the proper things. I ordered it, I'm just still waiting on that. But thankfully you can install that with the whole headliner still back in there. So that's why we have the whole headliner back in. We'll install the third brake light when the time comes. But as for now guys, it's time to clear the codes and hopefully, hopefully we have no more airbag light on the dash. There were so many things that had to do with the airbag, maybe even the airbag module needs to be replaced um, because basically that front sensor over here, uh, we had to pretty much re-bolt that on. We had to get a brand new steering wheel airbag, a brand new seat belt, uh, like we had to rebuild the seat belts, we had to get a brand new curtain airbag, and we had to replace the battery terminal fuse. There were so many things in terms of the airbag module, like airbag system that needed to be replaced. 
So hopefully, hopefully, just a clear in the codes should work. If not, maybe some coding, and if not, probably the actual airbag module needs to be recoded as well. So fingers crossed, guys, hopefully, 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 I'm so praying that all these lights go away. Moment of truth in three, two, one. Car is an accessory, and we are booting up Carly right now. Currently checking the codes, guys. I bet you there's gonna be a ton of codes, but once we clear it, again, we're just hoping that airbag and seatbelt light disappears. Moment of truth, clearing the codes right now, guys. Ooh, buddy, please, please, please. I'm sorry that it's, I don't know why it's so blurry. Come on, camera. Focus, focus, clearing. Woo! Guys, <laughs> oh my god, we've replaced so much things in the airbag module that I literally think it's a 50 50 chance, but I have high hopes that it should clear. Okay, guys, codes just cleared. Moment of truth. Please, please go, 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 go. No, dude. All right, guys, we still have the airbag light. What is going on? What is still disconnected? That is the question. Just read the codes, guys. It is the driver belt tightener. You have got to be kidding me. It is this guy right here. I don't know if you guys can see this one's sticking out a lot more and this is barely sticking out and that's because that one is messed up. Thankfully, that's the only code. So once we replace that, we should have no more airbag light. But what are the odds? <laughs> I completely forgot about that little dude. Guys, this thing pretty much blew every single airbag module thingy McBobber from the accident. That is just insane. So yeah, guys, these, this thing right here, I think is the same as an E90. I'm gonna try to head down to pick a pull tomorrow because I'm pretty sure there's two E90 with this uh the driver i mean airbags seem fine so i think we might get lucky so i'm gonna head down to pick a pull tomorrow hope for the best and if they have one that'll be a giant score but in the meantime we do have the seatbelt, which means we can safely drive this thing i'm gonna quickly call up my insurance put this thing on the insurance and drive it and get some gas this thing has zero miles to the tank right now so let's get some gas in this thing let's get it at least on my insurance so tomorrow when we actually get that seatbelt tensioner we'll be ready to rock and roll guys the irony I'm out of gas right here next to the gas station. The car is completely dead. And uh, if a cop comes, this is gonna suck because I have temporary registration. Oh, I'm so close to the gas station. I, literally, that was my target from the house and we didn't make it. That's how a car feels. Literally just throws a check engine light and the car completely dies. So I'm gonna try to push it. My dad's gonna come help me in a little bit. Wish me luck, guys. Guys, first drive is such a fail. The gas station's right here. My dad is coming right now. Shout out to my dad. Uh, he's gonna somewhat help me push this. I'm gonna try to put most of my will into it, but if my dad can just kind of help me get it over this groove, we can just get it right into Arco. What a mission, what a day. guys got some gas guys thank the lord shout out to everyone that helped me get this thing over here what you guys just witnessed there everyone helping me push this car shows that the world is still good shout out to everyone i think everyone was like oh man this guy's so cheap he can't even afford gas i'm like nah but that ain't it this is the first drive guys the first drive and unfortunately, uh, yeah, we, we pretty much almost didn't make it. So thank the Lord it actually died in front of Arco, not across the street from the intersection because that would've been a whole lot worse. Everyone at the gas station was super helpful. There's a couple BMW guys, first guys that came to lend a hand. And uh, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just happy to see people actually helping other people. That, that means a lot. I'm gonna drive this thing and uh, hope no more issues come up. I think what just happened there was worse comes to worse. <laughs> Please God, so far the car is not knocking. It's driving really good super stoked the transmission so far is acting up pretty well so uh i'm gonna go ahead and drive this thing down to chipotle and see how it does on the drive guys this thing is driving so smooth and s oh i spoke too soon guys i spoke too soon I, I i dropped the camera sorry guys as soon as i actually gave it some gas it looks like something was rubbing on the bottom pretty hard like watch right here i'm gonna give it a little bit more gas All right, looks like we're something is rubbing on the bottom of the car, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that scraping sound. Oh, okay, all right. Um, I definitely think it's a plastic trim piece, some kind of plastic piece underneath the car. Uh, I can probably remove that when I get to my house. I'm gonna drive super slow on the way to my house, and uh, guys, I'm gonna sit down the camera. There's too much things going on, I'm sorry. I wish I had a GoPro on right now, but I just, I'm just trying to get this thing to my other house right now. Please, God. 
So far, so good, but uh, so many issues at the same time we need to get sorted on this thing. Guys, just ran into another issue, which is the hood. For some reason, it said my hood is open. What is going on, guys? Maybe my hood sensor is actually faulty. That would be something else. All right, just shut the hood. I double checked. <laughs> Please. I honestly would say, could anything get any worse? But honestly, guys, I'm not too upset. Like, for the most part, the engine is sounding pretty good. The transmission is sounding pretty good. The idling is pretty good. No check engine light, so that's awesome. So all these little things that are happening, for example, like the hood latch sensor, that's cheap. The fuel running out, the car was out of fuel. And then right now with the plastic thing, uh, you know, flipping out, that's normal. I mean, when you rebuild a car, sometimes there's a plastic piece somewhere that you didn't notice. You just need to remove it or bolt it back up. So uh, we'll figure that out hopefully tomorrow. But as of now, let's see. Again, can we make it home? You know, I know 100% it's actually latched. I'm starting to think possibly um, the actual sensor when the body shop actually put on the radio support I have a feeling they didn't actually connect the sensor so maybe we need to connect that uh, that hood latch sensor because um, I'm pretty sure that's the issue the hood is definitely latched right now and this is the next morning guys we are home sweet home the car honestly it drove here honestly was so 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 comfortable driving the e36 m3 all day really shows like really makes you feel really grateful for the e chassis the e chassis felt absolutely amazing um after driving the e36 m3 this is just my personal opinion I and mean, i know a lot of people love the e36 m3 that car to me personally just a little bit it, it's just it's just too harsh if you guys know what i mean it's, and then you hear everything on the roads and obviously i gutted the interior Interior, and that makes things even worse in terms of comfortability and in terms of luxuriness. But yeah, I'm more of a guy that loves the luxury aspect. I'm more of a cosmetic dude. And the E36 M3 is definitely a different route in terms of our project. Uh, but anyway, getting back into the 335 IS, it honestly drove amazing. Other than the fact that we had the plastic thing on the bottom, we had the uh, the, the hood latch issue, and then obviously running out of fuel. Um, I mean, it was definitely a lot of issues in a you know in a couple minutes. But thank the Lord, the car, honestly, the engine is shifted everything was very 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 smooth and idled very 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 nicely so you got to look at the bright side it's honestly really good all those other little things we can easily fix in one video so i'm super hyped about that but yeah guys if you guys are liking the progress of the 335 is make sure to smash that like button and if you guys want to see all that stuff get sorted hopefully in the next video make sure to smash the like button i'm probably gonna hit the co part right now hopefully we can find a seatbelt tensioner so we don't have to wait for an order um but yeah i'm super stoked i want to get this thing on the road i want it to get past i want it to pass all the inspections and i want to get this title under our name so we can finally enjoy it and drive so without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble see y'all on the next one peace out